It's probably gonna get dark in this piece. This is looking familiar. I kill you. Welcome to Horror Manor. It is a first person horror game. And let's see what the store page has to say for it. Step into the decaying halls of Horror Manor, an abandoned estate shrouded in mystery. With a sudden click, the door slams shut, trapping you within its chilling embrace. So, off the bat, there is no music or anything on the main menu here. Surprisingly, I could have at least played some creepy ambiance or something to get us in the mood for what we're about to experience. But at least there's something to look at here. And there's, I guess you can call this a logo, <laughs> the name of the game here. So, yeah, we're going to try Horror Manor. It's a new game. Useful tip, keys open doors. Wow. We're outside in the woods. Let's do this. We're sitting at 30 FPS. Hold on, let's, let me see if we can get that bumped a little. Doesn't look like we can do options in game, even though there's an option. Uh, we can't. That's unfortunate. We'll deal with the 30. The gate's welcoming us in. Why are we even here? There's a cemetery outside of the house. In an alarm. That should tell you all you need to know. And we can't get in through the front. Let's try the side. Mm -hmm. Even the freaking cellar is blocked. We can't walk through the forest, so. Surprise! Oh, I was gonna say surprisingly, there's no invisible walls. Yes, there are. So how do we get in? Then? House looks familiar. Well, probably for the best. Nothing good comes of entering a place called. Horror Manor. Anything back here? No. Visible wall. Hmm. No. We have a large inventory. I like that. The uh the graveyard over here too. But I don't see anything to interact with. Hmm, it changes as we approach it, the stone. That good old pop in. John Smith. Elizabeth Smith. And this one. <laughs> Will Smith. I mean, I know Will and Smith is a pretty common name, but this combination... Hmm. All right, I'll get with you once we figure out what the heck we're doing. So we still haven't figured out how to get in, but I did change up the graphics to uh, 1080. They were on 720 previously. So that's why I was a little fuzzy. But uh, at least the headstones look decent now. There's a bit of screen tearing because I turned V-Sync off, but... Uh, it's sitting at near 60 frames. 
But the most important thing, though, I still haven't figured out how to get into the manor. Like this, what's the point of this area? Like no door here. Wait a minute, I stumbled upon this. A casket. So this leads us up here. Now we can get in. Who's gonna freaking figure it out? I had to just wander around bored. Now we're in. I was just about to quit. Well, let's experience this manner. Let's find out if we have been here in other games. So far, I'm not seeing it. The pictures though, they look horror. Can we open anything? A lot of pop in. The fire is going. Got a key. It doesn't tell us what key it is, but it's a key. Maybe it opens this. No. Check all of the doors on the first floor. That's a flashlight. Take that too. It's probably going to get dark in this piece. This is looking familiar. I kill you. Bathroom. Another key. I kill you. That battery. Yeah, it's a battery. Okay, now it's on our one key. Good. I kill you. Okay. Jump scare. It was a semi decent one. That door's locked. What about this door? So it opens something upstairs. Let's go check. No more of those type of jump scares, please. It opens this door. Yeah, we've been here. Um, damn it. It's doing it again. So it's using. So we're using the house that a game called. Um, what was that game called? Stalked used unfortunately that's how i recognize this place this uh house uh i want to get out of here get, get me out of here what's this lot pick uh, i can open a variety of locks and doors can can they open safes though possibly not This was, this was a bath, a uh, bedroom. Yep. It still is a bedroom. Let's not pick this, shall we? Good old Skyrim method of lock picking. I like it. You did it. Not to pick to get another key. Yes. Jump scare again. Not this time. You use them too much, they become less effective. Especially these types. Throwing a flip at us. I kill you again. 
he's gonna do it now. Can we go in here? Yes. Here was a plot device in another game, the stalk. A bloody message. What is it? Oh, it's a combination. R9, R2. What? I don't know. I'm going to need to take that with me because there's no way I'm going to remember that. That's a note you should pick up. Not put it back. Still locked. I'm not gonna remember that note. I kid you. Yeah, I think we're uh we have to figure out this safe combination code. But uh I have no idea how to even go about it. So this is probably where we're gonna end it. Horror manner. Stomped at a safe combination puzzle. Of course, it's a puzzle. I don't have the patience for it. We don't know we can. I'll take this battery though. Another battery. Five of them so far. They haven't turned the lights out on us yet. Maybe the location is the code. About 9125. Oh my goodness, we solved it. <laughs> we did it. Got a green key card. Now the jump scares commence. Green key card. What we'll use a green key card. We still have at least two locked doors left in the house. But none of those need key cards. Bring it here. Oh, this needed one. What the heck? Use it. Okay. What did it open? Oh. What the heck is this? <laughs> Out of place freaking monster. Wait, what the heck? Okay, what we got here? A demon. Alright then. A huge key. Let's look at that. That's a giant key. What else we got here? Reborn, we need you. Okay, take the key. Whatever that is, I don't know. This key. Yeah, I don't know, you just keep it on hand. It may unlock any door. Let's try it. So the bedroom had a secret compartment. So the only door left to unlock is downstairs. It should be this one. Let me in. Yes. And it's an outside door. But this door did not exist last time. When you walked here, there was no door. I guess that adds to the mystery of this place. Basement time? Yeah, now this is not blocked. What the heck? Got coffins here. So apparently something dastardly is going on. Got pentagrams. Bones. Get out of here. It says. 
I'm willing to bet it's not going to be that easy. We're probably locked. Nope, still open. But we got some switches here. Oh, we got a switch puzzle. Damn it. I guess the object is to get them all up like that. Not sure if that did anything. Maybe it did. We got a jump scare. Let's check. The front of the house isn't blocked anymore either. Oh, oh no, we're not at the front. Uh, is it though? No, it's not. Not blocked anymore. Doesn't matter though, because we can't get in through the front door. We can only get in from that casket. Area. But we can't get back in from the side door. There's no reason to come back in though, because every other door has been explored. Let's see, can we interact with these here? No. Okay, we did right then, because we can't. Pull the switches again. Okay, let's go back in the front then at the graveyards. Maybe that's maybe there's something there. Can't figure out anything else. Can we leave? Yeah. Victory. That's it. You survived the horrors of the lost manor. Thank you for playing. Oh. So it's that simple. We were never really locked in, per se, from the front gate. What we had to do is get keys inside, flip some switches in the basement cellar thing, and run away from the demon thing and there we go happy ending i don't know if there are any others but this is what we got horror manor has been completed and that's all folks it could have used a bit more music uh, ambiance music on the menus maybe some voice acting for our character to add a bit more of a story but other than that it was fine besides the frustration at the start figuring out how to get into the manor, but eventually figured it out.